This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? Kevin Solomon, with Chesapeake, Baltimore County. Coach, something a little bit about yourself and your team. Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Kevin Solomon, and um, been a six-year coach now between AAU and high school. And um, got a group of young men down with Chesapeake High School. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to have a good season this year, I believe. And uh, high expectations. All right, Coach Simon, you're going to hear his analysis throughout this broadcast. The second arrow skins and shirts classic. St. Francis had a tough one last night, Coach. He was telling me I was coming in. They lost to St. Benefit Prep, number 13 ranked in the country by seven points. Missed about 20 free throws last night. That was tough. Yeah, St. Francis, uh, they pretty much gave everything they had. You know, I was, I was uh, surprised with the effort they gave. It was like they played hard for uh, the entire time, 40 minutes. The dead and Francis now have the ball first. Different team from a year ago. Graduation from Gracie and Kirkley Jr. Diane stopped it off. And a foul is called against St. Francis. Francis, by the way, going to yellow. And our bishop step up. Up from New York City is in the blue uniform. St. Francis foul on the line for the Crusaders, number 21. Now we're talking about Baltimore County a little bit. Um, Perry Hall and Woodlawn's going to be a tough uh, race out there in Baltimore County. Yeah, Perry Hall would probably be the top seed right now uh, with Newtown, two-time defending state champions, losing Devin Smith and Matt Johnson. They fall down the program, should fall a little bit this year. And the Perry Hall would be the top contender as well as Woodlawn. Two-nothing. Some of as Davis had the ball early. Back over to Epps. That's trying to drive. And it'd be shooting to. He said the foul number two. They were denied. First personal, first seed foul. The St. Francis Panthers. Won the uh, MIA uh, uh, Conference uh, Championship uh, again, though. Uh, Congratulations, uh, but this is more of a team oriented team, you're telling me. Um. Absolutely. Uh, last year, they was under the leadership of uh, Daquan Bracey and Kirk Lee, well defined scores in the MIA DCL. And um, this year's win will be a little different. It'll be a team, 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 team. Everybody will be involved. Turnover there by St. Francis. But right back to the Panthers. Uh, foul against Archbishop Stepper. Archbishop Stepnet has a lot of mix of players, seniors, juniors, freshmen even. Over. Great hustle indeed. But the defense of St. Francis, man, they're closing up every time. No passing lanes at all. Absolutely. I 
think that's one of the big keys to St. Francis this year. going to be their defense with all the power scoring of Mr. Bracey and Kirk Lee Jr. Shot clock at 22 for three. Tips it! Five nothing! I'll put this. Apps is back in the man. I go over to the Captain Goodwin. Davis. A block! And over. Top is it. Step now. For three again. That one tip. Rebound by St. Francis. Davis driving, shoots, and hits! Nice set. That's a, that's a shot. A little different story tonight. St. Francis got off to a very fast start last night, up by seven early. But tonight, a slow start, but they're still coming. That's another turnover. Pass. Nice pass, right over to Epson, he scores. He loves No, as a coach, I know you like this defense right now by both teams. Excellent defense. Everybody give it good effort. Block, turnover. Right back over. Davis trying to finish, and he does. Well, St. Francis from the 6-0-1 after being down 5 nothing. Right they are, and they're looking very efficient. Especially off the fast break off turnover. Three. Oh man! Agent Zero, Jordan Means from Manhattan. It was Coach Simon and Stoja. Oh, tipped out of bounds. That was a two. Seven six. Four over to 11. Off the glass, a mess. Here comes off pitches. Back again. Missed it. He's everywhere. Francis down one. Pass inside. Spin move and a foul. Strong move, strong move. Rolling so much. Didn't know it was only 4.38 left in the first quarter here. Oh, in and out. Hey, Ron Penn, Penn shooting free throws reminds me a lot of Dwayne Morgan. Same build, same athleticism. Looking for a lot of things to see you here. He got the, he has tied the game, one out of two, that shot. And he makes the second free throw. Out of bounds, and it's gonna go back to St. Francis. Got a question for you, shot clock in the private game, and it's not in the public game still. What do you think about that? You think it needs to be? It definitely needs to be, and it's funny you should bring that up because I just finished referee school and I found out next year it may be coming to Baltimore County Public Schools. Oh, that's cool. So that would help a lot because we need to get ready for college ball and no shot clock doesn't help out. No, I don't at all. That one tips is out of bounds. Gonna... Seven is going to retain possession. Coach doing it all. Reffing, coaching. Broadcasting back for three. Spins out. Tipped everywhere. Offensive rebound. Missed it off the glass again. And stay with the Miles has done a magnificent job taking the St. Francis program over. BCL and MIA tough once again this year. Absolutely. That's doing a great job. 
got two little kids of his own up cross. Missed it. Tied at seven still. Saw Bishop not shoots the three. Spins out. Great power rebound too. Again. Darwin had it for a brief moment. Takes it back over to Epps. Over to Jones. Ball for three. Spins out on him. Ball's everywhere. Offensive rebound. Penn had it. Blocks. Gonna stay with St. Francis. The defense is blocked by the guy. St. Francis is going out with somebody. They gotta convert on easy layups. George Sigmar, number 23. 23 fouls on offensive. Oh. Step very, back. Very interested in seeing number 23 into the game, Jordan Taylor. He was the player of the year for middle school last year in Baltimore County. And undefeated Deer Park middle school team. Very interested to see how he feels out as a freshman on JV. Freshman on Boston, excuse me. Coach well, Solomon with a great analysis there as the ball was taken. Over that net and a foul. Second foul on St. Francis as a team. First shot. Got it. Unbreaks the time. First personal fourteen Hits them both. Nine seven games should be. Jones over the dome, tipped and missed on him. Offensive rebound. Glad the basketball. And the foul was called. Two fourteen left. Consider foul number twenty-two, Xavier Wilson. First personal. So, coach, uh, first game of the year. Who you guys got? Uh, Parkville, and that's a very scary game because they had the, um, the they had the John Carroll assistant coach last year taking over the, the program over there. So it's a good coach, and it's going to be a very interesting game. Question about it: the public school end is going to be starting back up pretty soon. And yeah, uh, the seventh of December. Of course, for football, this is the week that normally the championships in the public end would have been done, but maybe. Hosted the uh, American Athletic Conference Championship. Didn't go so well for them to get against Temple and pushed everything back a week. So football will be finishing up next week and right in the heart of basketball season. Very exciting times for sports fans. Yes, yeah, it looked like a technical foul. You know? That's where it came from. Hits him. As Eric Turner, the second try to tie it up. They're nine. I think the technical foul was Jordan Tolles in the book was wearing number 15. But then in the uniform, he's wearing number 23. So maybe that has something to do with it. Got you. Both teams are shooting techs. On time to gain 10 9. Technical. Where do you really see that? 
anywhere, but especially in high school uh, sports. Chips and miss. Great defense on St. Francis. Outlet, three on one. Oh, missed the layup. Oh, the Sun Neck trying to increase that lead. Oh, man, I like the Jordan Tools is out on the break. Jordan leads for two. Means drop the two. Biggest lead for offensive stand back from New York. Oh, man. Almost a costly there for the Toes. And the return for the Crusaders, number two. Yeah. And the Niners. St. Francis had the back for that. Number two, number two, Terrell Davis. Ball when he were the deep three middle, I'm sorry, uh, Deer Park Middle School back for last year for the National, the national Championship. Jordan Toes was actually in the game. Oh, what a pass and a pass. And Turner back and finish it off. The great pass. Pick up, now. He's going to go back to St. Francis. No eight left in the first quarter. Very tightly contested contest. Both these teams met last year up in New York, and St. Francis saved the prevail. Ball still going to save with Francis. Of course, you know, season makes makes different situations. For three, tipped and missed. Offensive rebound. Hits it by Ken. Ties the game at 13. Down the seconds in the first quarter. Wide open. Tipped and missed. Rebound by St. Francis trying to take the lead. Turned over right back. Two on one. Nice defensive ball. And wasn't able to get it. And then a turnover. We'll stay with our pitcher. Starting at the Crusaders. They're in the shirt versus Skins. First, first game. Big. Griffin takes it back over to Hudson. We'll be back here on DSN on YouTube after this. Hey, Jordan, 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 Second quarter has begun. We're tied at 13. Very defensive battle. In the first quarter. The glass too high for Davis. As the other Davis of St. Francis comes out. Baldwin. Nice pass. Missed it inside. Here comes the Crusaders. Kicks the pass. And a foul. Don't have to shoot too. Well, it's one thing St. Francis got to do offensively to get going. Well, I've been down at the backboard from the past. I think we need a little bit more ball. I haven't seen too much ball moving in the first half. He didn't want to get inside and finish. They've had some key opportunities that he's missed. But he just got to finish. He's going to be going to the center of St. Francis. He's going to be going to the center of St. Francis. He's going to be going to the center of St. Francis. Open three is going to come and go. You got to some down, you going to miss some. But around the rim, you got to finish. The weird fact is you can't get them, to, them back a lot. 
Ball in hands are now. St. Francis down by two again. Inside and a foul. There you have it again. Another round of rim shot not finished. Bailed out by the foul. Seven inside number 21. Ellen Griffith first personal. 15 foul. Ten with a pair here. Oh man. Returning from the Panthers to the Panthers. Like check on Price is right. Round one of the goals. Second shot to get this game back within one. He does. One point affair between Crusaders of Ralph Bishop. Matt Matt. Frank Francis coming out with the first trap of the game on the press. For three. Got to get that rebound. It does. Both teams are pretty cool from behind the three point line. Speaking of three, that's the one that goes in. We love you, Rex. That's Rex is shooting a high. You see going back to last night's game as well from behind the arc. That gives Francis a two point lead. Wow. Here comes St. Francis trying to increase that two point lead. That's a good transition. Why not? Woo! Transitional timeout. Jordan Bull had four three pointers last night. Continue with hot shooting behind the shot. 625 left, 20 to 15. I don't think he is, coach. Um, started last night. We got off to a hot start. Thorn Moore was a, was, was one that was raved over here though, but it seemed like I don't know if he's right now or he's not in the lineup. He'll be back with the team next week. Coach. Right now, he's not here. He got to St. Francis, by the way, get all special spawning in this building on Monday. Yeah, he has some family issues. He'll be back with basketball next week. He's back to Absolutely. Down to play. We had a little system there from Coach C of the St. Francis JV Varsity program. Yeah, we got we to get into um, Chesapeake's uh, JV. How you guys looking to get some guys to come up and um, be with you? Well, I had Coach AAU for a couple seasons, and six players from the AAU team were sophomores for my, my Chesapeake JV team. But it's so good that Varsity took three of them. And now I have three of them. I have to have three experienced ball players and a bunch of okay ball players from Lucy Alvarez. Change of baskets. One three was dropped and then a two. On the other end, it put St. Francis up. Two. Getting it on on the offensive end. And for three. Oh, man. They are both teams starting to hit them, and it's a one-point game again. Very highly entertaining game. Pass. Nice pass. Oh, just didn't go in. Perhaps it was the right shot. Oh, that pass. oh, the defense got back though in time. Stolen, stolen indeed. Trapped. And a bailout foul. Oh, oh. 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 like he had his own. Oh. 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 Oh, man. There goes that man again. Jordan Cole for three. They said Jordan Cole, but that was not Jordan Cole. Not. 
I'm enjoying doing. As I stated before, I had four three jabs. I was continuous hot shooting from behind the arc. Crusaders. Man, he, he went in. I, I give him credit. He attacked the range like, like there was no Mutombo back there. <laughs> Got to be Look at these first Four forty-one left in the first half. As Davis hits them both. What they got? Twenty-three. Oh, like you're just talking about. Oh, he got it in one. Twenty-two. Now be the transfer from Randallstown Senior High. It's gonna be a big help to the St. Francis team. Yeah, height, power up with an and one there. We were just talking about how they wasn't able to get Sats inside and finally got one to bounce on. And finished. Free throw good by Nobby. The land was down with transfer. 30 second time out. Coming up after this one, we got a good one here in the St. Benedict practice. Silver Bees up against Mount St. Joe Gales. Gales are the top team here in the Beaumont Metro. And, and Silver Bees are ranked nationally in the USA today. And Max Prep. What do you think about that? I think St. Joe will continue to compete for all championships. BCL, MIA. Bobby will be John Curry with the great two guards, quickly play of the year. And uh, the transfer coming from Oak Hill, Montez. Yeah, Montez rap is, uh, was that Mount Camel back in town? Right. And he's hooked up with quickly Ooh, that's play of the year and John Curry, but they're on a new coach this year, so we have to give Mount, Mount St. Joe the edge. St. Joe's remembers that buzzer beater shot at Towson last year. You see it right here on our DSN on our YouTube. You'll see how they're not having a coach. Martin. I'm not, uh, didn't hear about that. Coach Martin, we got a college offer in South Carolina, and he took it. And he left the program, and John Carroll has uh, taken his will. Uh, UMBC assistant coach coming to take over. Another three pops in. Trapping oh. almost at the center of the court. Four minutes left, two point game for Francis. For three. That one takes a mess. Here comes the Crusaders. Turned over. Lays it in. 30-26. Jordan Goodwin for two. For three again. Took him in. Come on the transfer from Randallstown. That's on our DSN on YouTube. You check out that fourth quarter. One of the better play fourth quarters I've seen in a long time. And that game was out to the fire. First person was out. Quickly, it's amazing. And Daryl Moore uh, is going to Maryland. He's been there about a month ago. From Mount St. Joe's. A very interesting matchup coming up. And then next Saturday, Polly and Mount St. Joe's at the William Wells Classic. That's going to be interesting. Polly had a great year last year. was a freshman, the fourth point guard to start at St. Benedict High School. The other ones were Jason Williams, the deep. Uh, Isaiah Williams, 
Isaiah Bristol playing for Kentucky. There was two other ones before him as well. How about that? Nationally ranked program. They were in the Classic, I think, two years ago. Talked to the coach last night. He said they were ranked 13th, but two or three of the teams in front of him, they pounded about 20 plus points. So if you can read between the lines, coach might have thought they were a better ranked team. Yeah, I would definitely think so. Also, that's a three. That one misses. Some of the Crusaders trying to get themselves back on track. Oh, and dude. Man, they ran them in, aren't they? Outside game of both teams seem to be much improved over the inbound. Over the inside game, sorry, sir. I said this about both teams. Um, as game action is back here. The fouls are not high yet, even though the Crusaders are at the point where they foul Francis again at free throws, like it is now. The one and one at least. Speaking of foul, number one, Jordan. Speaking of foul, they got upended by Woodlawn in the 3A playoffs, like 4A playoffs. They did. They're all the way to shoot the one and one. St. Benedict walks in as we're shooting free throws. We're at St. Francis Academy. A lot of 6'10 guys coming in with that. That is a tall team as you get them here on camera now. That's a tall lineup. Hits them both. 34 29, five point game for the Panthers. A costly turnover. Hudson cuts over another three. Hits again. Keeping the Crusaders in the game. A two point game. Every time St. Francis try to get a little room, that three ball just dropping in. Crusaders down up the Shoots it. Tip and miss. Offensive rebound. Nice. Off the clap. Oh, man. As we spoke of before, a lot of missed opportunities inside. With the dropping for uh, the Crusaders, that can come back and bite uh, St. Francis at the end of this game. Hudson hands the ball now, bringing it up for the Crusaders. Dark blue uniforms. St. Francis and uh, yellow. This afternoon. Another three, why not? Hits it again, brings it. Uh, and the Crusaders uh, take the lead back for the first time uh, early in the second quarter. Uh, it's now giving them the lead. A lot of dribbling there by Goodwin. He's able to get it over to Davis, Terrell Davis, if he's nice. Epps with 13 on the shot. This is a good three-point shoot as well. The pass by The pass. There's the finish. Yes, sir. No more beautiful than a great pass and a good finish. A little more than a minute left. He walked. Oh man. Nice hands to avoid the turnover. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, 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 yes, it is. Tim Duncan would like it. Jones with three. Good and Francis. Oh. Side. Coming out to shoot a pin. 
Seven foul against St. Francis. Jordan Meads on the line for the Crusaders. Oh, Mr. Crusaders. First missed it, eh? Out of Crusaders. One shot we made it. Second shot. That one missed too. Uh, it was a good pass, but got took. Three, two for three. Hits it! That's a buzzer! At halftime, St. Francis up by the Southern Samaritans. One point over the official Stednet Crusaders. And we'll go back with the second half. It is here on the Dying Sporting Network on YouTube. Underway. St. Francis hanging at that one point lead, 39-38. Coach Solomon be right back with us. Cuts inside. Davis had it back over. Oh, missed it. For three, for the lead. Tipped and missed. Right over. Way. He nails it in there. Davis is Cole Solomon's back. And Sound, sound to take, you sound, you sound good on there, coach. See how the hat time was rushing. Ralph Davis had the ball there. Right over that. Crusader foul number 21. Alan Griffin, second personal, first team foul. First shot, missed it. And how many double on the line and one shot remaining? Gotta hit them free throws, as they say. I'll be the Randall's Town transfer. Just a second. His impact has some felt like he was saying, Coach, earlier. Yeah, he gives him a little bit more depth off the bench. I know he did start to move. Floater in there. R.J. Davis for two. He reminds me of Dennis Rodman. High energy. Oh, man, he's going to sit 
took me to always like ramen. He does a little bit of everything like ramen. All the dirty work, tough inside. Good defender. And he'll battle the boys. Very underrated player indeed. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Drop feeder. One guy you gotta go off the outside on St. Francis. Number four. F. And one! Means got it in. Every time St. Francis gets a top three lead, the Saints come back with a three pointer or a three point play, old fashioned way. Either or, but they continue to battle back when down. Jordan Got to love the fact that both teams are battling hard. This early season test. Loader missed it. Offensive rebound. Nobby. Pass. Pass. Blocked again. That one gets in that time. Crusaders will inbound the basketball. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Missed it. Wow, 
Early, a very tight third quarter, not just in the score, but in the sense of play as well. We had a very frenetic second quarter scoring. Both teams had over 20 points each. In this third quarter, both teams are stagnant so far on offense. She's coming up, shot at the ninth and tenth points of the quarter. Sanders only have seven fouls in the third quarter. It was out with some last night where it was the same points. only scored five points in the third First shot was missed, by the way, by Goodwin. Second shot. That one gets in there. We got a three-point game. 48-45. Raiders can tie with a three. Every time you find out what, sometimes you see out of one game what type of, what two games even, what team they want to be. But shooting breeze early, hitting inside, like they're trying to be all around. A little earlier next weekend, the guys on YouTube will be up at UMBC. First annual William Wells Classic, a doubleheader, private and public mixing. First, we're gonna have one against two, Mount St. Joseph and Thompson, and St. Francis and Patterson. First game's at 4 30. Second game will be at 6 30. Sound like a basketball game. Oh, no, I'm going to say this on zero, Jordan Beans. St. Francis and Gumball. That brings back memories of the days when Gumball had Reggie Lewis, Nancy Bates, Baby Bingy. It does. Then we got to that power move uh, classic up at Polly Mustard on the girls' end. Hold up. Pretty exciting. Venture in high school basketball. Two point game. Good defense. Good defense. Oh, it's turnover. Fast break. Here comes the Crusaders and lays it in. That's the thing. At 48. <laughs> Bringing it. For three. And the pitch and miss. Oh, the rebound. Oh, did not go. Smacked away. Missed it. Come up short. Time and time again. Oh, what a crossover move. Coming out to shoot two. And again, the Crusaders are attacking the basket and getting the foul call. St. Francis is getting in the hole, but like you said earlier, Coach not getting in there. Returning from the Panthers, number two, Terrell Davis. Xavier Wilson on the line for the Crusaders, one shot of the game. Hit some both. 
Didn't hit them both. Hit the second, excuse me. Oh, man, what a bad turnover. What a bad turnover there by St. Francis, man. The Crusaders get the ball back with a one-point lead. And a smart timeout. Coming out for Sanders. 30 second timeout. 40, 49. Favorite to Crusaders. Saying how the offense is tight, but Crusaders found a way to get some scoring going. And Francis still playing a little uptight. The three's not too much. Absolutely. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough year school for St. Francis. Defense has been efficient enough for St. Francis. Just like you said, coach, they can't get it inside. For three. That one bricks side. That's break opportunity. Yes, it is. One on one. Gordon Cole. Oh, yeah. Jordan Cole. Mining two, and that puts St. Francis back up one, 50 to 49. Davis. with the tunnel, fast break, opportunity. Oh, oh, oh. that went all the way up. That's what it does, it ties our game at 52. 24 seconds left in the third. Search versus Skins Classic, second annual. Excuse me, the third angle. Apologize. That was out of bounds. Yes, St. Francis is 3.9 left in the third quarter. Trying to get the lead going into the final period. Three. And a foul. Oh no, he stepped out of bounds. He stepped out. Wow. 1.9 left. And it's dangerous. The team like the Crusaders that can pop the three. Any moment. At the buzzer. Missed it. After three, we got deadlocked at 52. I believe so. Like the whole way. And DSN on YouTube, be back. That's a sixth foul on St. Francis. 
doing it's not a good recipe going into the fourth quarter, Coach, because that one and one the free throw line comes into play. Absolutely. Oh, what a cut! Inside, got it! Griffin gets the Staters in it. 54, 52. Two on two for the Crusaders. And it's gonna go to St. Francis as it touch the foot. St. Francis back to the future looking very solid. Jordan Coles and Adrian Baldwin, two freshman guards for St. Francis. The future looks quite good once again. Coach Nick is pulled out of the future. Little speed. If he'd have made that boy, I tell you. It's been unbelievable. Terrell hey, Davis with the ball. Top. Oh, bad pass. Missed it, Tom. Balls everywhere. A good time out by Coach. Jones. 
definitely favors the Crusaders. Early in the game, we've seen St. Francis guard the basket a little better in the fourth quarter so far. They've been drawn out by the three-point shooting of the Crusaders. Crusaders free throw opportunities. Two shots, first one miss. Bandit is the same. Uh, Francis is that the Crusaders only have two, uh, two fouls. Just deep into the game, that's pretty interesting. That means St. Francis will have to utilize their skills on the field. Oh, it looks like Defensive foul. Appreciate 
but the whistle blown. Christmas tournaments. That's good for the ball more early. It gives you something to do. Definitely indeed. You should never discard that. Alright, that was a tough move. Oh, 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 oh. oh. St. Francis. Pick a move. 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 Pick a back to the free throw line. One and one again. Ranked team in the area against one of the top ranked teams in all other countries. Should be, a, should be a good one. Second shot of that ties the game at 63. Hits it. Oh man. One point game here in the fourth quarter. Oh, very wise. Good move. Good move. And side side, man. Again, they cannot finish around the rim. Almost like a hunting ghost for St. Francis right now. Did not finish at the hoop. No problem the whole game. Should be called. Uh, he walked. Yes, he did. Coaches are getting more involved in the game. Inside. Oh, 
almost got it in there. 52 free throws, get it tied up. He's a pretty good shooter, so we expect him to make him good. Mr. Epps, he hits the first. He's doing it now, he's doing it. Second shot here, he's tied up. That was good too. As expected, two free throws. Here comes the Crusaders. In the blue and red. Saint Benedict looks on as well as Mount Saint Joe. A timeout. Crusaders. Timeout there by cool. Crusaders. Take it over here to us here. Coach Solomon there, coach. What you expect to see from uh, the Crusaders here at the end of the game? I expect them to continue to call the ball inside and maybe kick out to the open three-point shooters. They've been able to knock down three-point shots the entire game. A little slow at one time in the third, but they've come back around to knocking down three-point shots. But I expect them to go inside out. And they have done that for the most part in the game so far. We'll take you back to game action. Is that a mention, Coach? You got any uh, tournaments coming up uh, during the Christmas time? Uh, we're getting like Dundalk High School uh, Christmas time tournament. And there's a few city teams in there as well as city. Very Thirty-five seconds left. Thirteen on the shot clock. Eleven. Ten. Nine, eight, seven. Going to try. Missed it off the glass. Offensive rebound. Spin move. Got it in there. One seconds left on the shot clock. 15 seconds left in the game. Epps. And he turned it over. He turned it over and he didn't foul. 7.5 left. And the Crusaders going up to the free throw line and increase their lead. Oh, man. Number three for the Crusaders didn't like the foul. Maybe it was a little harder than expected. How about Epps though? Had a costly turn over there. Oh, that's the, that's the experience lost. Kirby Jr. You can control the game in touchdown. Man. St. Francis. Boy, about to look. First shot, miss.
to us, Francis, they don't get the lead. It doesn't appear so because New York City Crusaders have no one on the line. So it's a rebound and go mentality. Made it. Three point game. Seven point go. five left. The goal is the freshman. Oh, oh. I poked him. But he had a foul to give. He had a foul to give. It was the freshman brings it up. Like I said, we wasn't sure who was going to take the shot Francis, but it appeared to be the first one. Yeah, how about that? How about that? Taters had a pile of gift. Final timeout for the Panthers. And it may have been the fastest guy with the ball to get it up to half court and call a timeout. That may well have been the plan. And put in an inbound play from half court. We'll see if they come back with any bigs. Wouldn't be shy to Coach Simon. They stayed with that five uh, guard lineup because of the three point shot since he's down three. Absolutely. Why not go for the win? Instead of the tie. So here we go. They're coming back with the five minute top guard. Yeah. 4.5 seconds. This could be a good drive, maybe kick. Can they get a shot off and down? It's very crucial there, especially since they need a three to tie it up. Coach Nick is wondering what's going on here, looking at the other coaches. Of course, man to man defense here. Can the same thing. There's the screen. There's the pass. There's the pass. There's the shot. Blocked! St. Francis. That's a foul. Crusaders coming up, they hit one, this game is over. Well, it's out by St. Francis, set a screen up the end line. Two, oh, fate, uh, would have been three point shooting. First, first of all. But he shot it by the guy flying, well, and he got a block. Well, a ball fake there would have been crucial, but with a little bit of time and not much experience, this is what St. Francis may have to look forward to this season. Well, and that will do it. The team is good. Francis take another heartbreaking loss. Official spawning, excuse me, not spawning, official track match to Staters from New York City. Come in for the second chance game and get you off. The St. Francis Panthers, 70 to 66, tough defeat. But like Coach Solomon was saying earlier, these defeats during the season definitely help throughout the year. We're going to be coming back at you shortly. St. Benedict Pratt up against Mount St. Joe. We'll be back with you shortly here on the Dodge Point Network. Coach, you want to hang with us for the second uh, matchup? Absolutely. Yes, we'll be back with you shortly. Here comes McDonough. Lock. Passed it over. Got it in there to Brown. He puts it home for two. Turns it over. Dawson back over. Smart pass to be the lead for McDonough. Side puts it in. The tear drop from Grasso. Pick the pace up now. Side. That's a three. Four. Oh, over the good one. Side. Ties the game. Luka Kreski has put off and a ball. This is Die Sporting Network.